Welcome back guys, it's Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be bringing you the full Ichiro guide to Quiet Cosmos, created by Marcus Darius. Step 1. Talk to the Plague Doctor inside the bank. He will ask you to fill up soul boxes around the map. These are cat statues that you must kill zombies by and collect their souls. I did notice that you can fill them up before talking to the guy. A total of 5 cats must be filled up and here's their locations. Just as you exit the bank, just buy this car by Madgaz Moonshine. On the Deccan by Double Tap by the table. Within the church looking building that has the clock on the front of it. Under the waterfall by Widow's Wine. In the bar by the pool table. Once all of them are complete, this will open the green door in the lab, revealing the first key card on the left just here. Step 2. Talk to the doctor again and he'll tell you to unlock a tunnel. You will need to find 4 keys to do this. The blue key can be found in the blue corridor just in the building behind Crit Revive just on this box. The green key is over by Widow's Wine just on the left hand side on this box here. The purple key is in the diner just to the right hand side of Speed Cola over here. To be able to get the red key you need to activate power. To do this head inside the lab and it's just on the right hand side. Now head up to where Pack Punch was fenced off and just head up to the machine and it's to the right hand side here. Unlock the key just before the church, just over here on the left, and now collect the key card. Step 3. Go talk to the doctor again and he'll just jibber jabber on about how to get the next key card. To do this you must wind up 3 baby clocks and blow up 3 big clocks. The baby clocks can be found just in the pack punch area, just on the left hand side here. In the bar on the right hand side of Speed Cola. Just above where you find Crit Revive, over by Deadshot, just in the corner here. And now for the big clocks. One of them's just opposite the building with Deadshot in. Now you just need to grenade this or use an explosive weapon to damage this and all the other clocks. A clock is just on the front of the church. The last one is up top over by Double Tap, just over by the building that has the cage inside. This will lower the cage within the building and change the skybox. This will also give you the ability to change the skybox and grant you access to the third key card. Step 4. Talk to the doctor again and a crystal will spawn in by Madgaz Moonshine. Unfortunately, even with all the perks, you still can't reach it, so you must head over to the bridge and activate the trap here and launch yourself over in the air so you can grab the crystal. This will trigger the crystal to move around the map. Just follow it and interact with the crystal every time it stops. It will eventually end up in the lab. Just interact with it again and it will go inside the case just here. If you now turn to the left, you can interact with the keycard in the case just here. This will also unlock all the elemental bows around the map. Step 5. To get the final keycard you must talk to the doctor up in the bank. He will give you the last keycard. Now put all the keycards on the table inside the lab. This will unlock a super OP machine gun and it will also gain you access to the escape door at the back of the lab. Once purchased in the ending for 45k, this will activate the evacuation system. Head to the top of the bridge and activate the escape truck that has now appeared. But before you go, I'll show you all the side easter eggs now. The shield locations. One is on the balcony on the back of the bar just over here. Over by Mule Kick, another part can be found next to these boxes just here. One piece is inside the church just resting here against the ladder. You can build the shield in the building with Crit Reviving, just on the top floor next to Dead Shop. Acid Gap Parts One part is in a puddle by the door that you unlock with magical keys, just by the church with the void bow. One part is behind the car by Madgaz Moonshine. One part is at the back of the bar just on the balcony to the right hand side of Wonderfizz. This can be built just by Crit Revive. Perkaholic Posters There are posters around the map where you must interact with or shoot so you can get the most colourful perkaholic that I've ever seen. The posters that you must interact with are on the wall to the left of Crit Revive, on the balcony outside the room that has dead shine, within the blue corridor on the wall just where the blue key was, over behind the wall Widow's Wine is on just here, next to the doorway to the balcony in the bar, as you head down the stairway to Mule Kick, on the building by Mule Kick, next to the jump scare and Mad Gaz Moonshine, on the side of the church near the Void Bow, in the lab by the level 1 key card, in the Pucker Punch area just over here, in the jail area but you can't get this until most of the Easter egg is done. And these posters must be shot. There's two posters hanging underneath the bar balcony, if you head over to the far side you can shoot these here. As you head up to the bar, it's just on the left side here by the door. There's a poster just over behind the bar. Now that you've got all the posters, you'll get Perkaholic. I really hope you enjoyed my guide as much as I enjoyed making it. This has been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. Hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time it is. Hope you have a great one and peace out. The fuck was that?